going out on the uh, fishing vessel Liberty today. I've never had this happen before. We were halfway out the harbor, turned right back around, and we're coming into the dock. Apparently, they turned the boat around for somebody that missed it this morning. I've never had that happen. Don't be that guy. Sorry, guys. There they are. It's like a well-oiled machine just scooping the bait. Three guys running as fast as they can go. The captain scooping just as fast as he can. We're loading the boat. We're gonna have a great trip. There goes the Grande. Check out my my videos that we did on the Grande. Some great fishing trips there. Look at all these guys waiting for a freebie. There's one. Little anchovy. There's the first two Bonita in the box on the troll. We got one on right here. There's another one and another one. Looks like we got four on on the troll. Coming across the stern here, everyone. A couple more Bonita came on the boat. Everyone, all right, we got a bait going out. I left the full sequence in so you could see from the time I put my bait in the water until the time of the hookup. Fighter! All right, got a fresh one on. Here we go. Whoa. What kind of line is that? 30. Watch out guys, he's coming on. There's the first one. Keep changing the bait here, guys. Good job, bro. Windy side of the boat. Let's get a, a YouTube video. Windy oh, side yeah. of the boat. Back on. Did it bite yet, Tim? Not yet. Not yet. All right, you got a bait that's swimming good out there? Swimming. Okay. I got my first one. Oh, nice. Bonita? Yeah, Bonita. So there's a school of Bonita here. Okay, here we go. Bait just, he's scared. I can feel it's just my bait. He's scared though. Oh, we got some big waves going here too. I still feel the flick of my bait. I feel his tail beat. Come on under, come on, keep coming. Keep your line tight too as you, as you go. Keep, you're underneath him too. Keep going, Tim, let this guy under you. Okay, here we go. Oh, come on, bait. I was excited. I thought I was, <laughs> thought I was gonna get bit. Mine was running pretty fast. All right, so we had a little flurry there. Got my first fish on board. Yeah, yeah we got him going, yeah. huh? <laughs> We're having a good time. Fish are biting. We're on a school of Yay. bonita. We're gonna chase them a little bit, probably. Look at all the birds around us. That means there's fish here. We're having a blast out here. If you're enjoying this video, hit that subscribe button. So did you guys get one? No, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not our punishment for being late. Oh, okay. What's your name? Jeffrey, yeah. I'm Cousin Jim. So... Oh, I'm subscribed to you. You subscribed to me already? Like a couple weeks ago. A couple weeks ago? Yeah. We've been nailing those blue fins and the yellowtail. I saw the trip on the Excalibur. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we have been having fun. That Excalibur trip was wide open on the yellowtail. Hope it happens again today. All right, we got a yellowtail on over there in the corner.
There's a nice gap right there. Nice little yellowtail. That's good looking yellowtail. Got him on the troll. I got a bait that's going straight down and not doing very much. So we're gonna bring him back up. What'll happen is your bait will start running faster and then it'll start running really faster. And that's when you got the bite. The, uh, if you feel you feel the tail beat, did you, did you, did you, it feels like you're being nibbled on, but it's just yeah. your bait trying to swim. Bait trying to swim away. Yeah. You gonna keep him? No. This guy wants him for dinner. Yeah. Yeah. He was talking about having okay. mackerel for dinner. Who wants? You want this mac? Yeah, yeah I want. Oh yeah, yeah, I want it. Yeah, I thought you did. Come get him. I got a bait swimming really hard out there. Just a little, I don't know what the name is, but it's like, they're all the same on all the rods. Got a, got a big lead head, it's a zunker with a double hook on it. Definitely a nice looking tuna rig. Let's see what happens. Number 16, we're going on the troll. We'll let the pinhead Jeffrey get me out. So how many years have you wanted to do this? Like a year and a half. Is it, is, did your parents just start letting you do it now? Oh uh, yeah, well I mean I, I didn't really want to do it on the half day boats. I like this boat the best because like, I just like the offshore setting better and the crew on here, it's like my favorite crew of like all the boats. So. Cool. You worked a bunch of them or fished a no. bunch of them? Yeah, I fished a bunch of them. Okay. And, and how do you rig this up for the troll? Tim here he'll have number 17 so he'll be over there in that corner probably we're gonna we're gonna get him hopefully we troll across a great big bluefin tuna that's what I want so we got four rods strolling off the back of the boat here there they all are when the fish gets on it it will go up like straight out like that All right, we got a. We got three on. This line was being trolled way back, and then whatever fish hit it peeled a pile more line off of it, and now it's coming in. I don't know what it is, but we're going to see shortly. I hope. Yeah, I can't move because I'm tethered to the the rail here. Yeah. All right. We got a couple on the deck from the troll. Can I just throw him in the bag or got to put a... All right, there we go. Bag number 16. Number bags, everyone, number bags. You're way out there, and he yeah. didn't get hit? Man. He ran way out there. Yeah, he, he got out there. Yeah, even if it's been a minute and he's way out there and swimming, just let him go. Let him leave. Yeah. But we've drifted away from the, the school. Otherwise, everybody would be getting hooked up still. Sorry about the red spot filter. I'll check the camera more often. All right, Tim. Tim's dropping one in the water. Is he going to go anywhere? Or is he just going to lay under the boat? Is he going? He's going slow. He's going slow. He's 
Step left a little bit, guys. Yeah, Jeffrey, you got me on the troll. Good job, buddy. Well, we're looking for kelp. So. Not this time. All right, while well, you're on the troll, let Jeffrey get you set up on the troll. All right. He, he got me a fish. He'll get you one. He's the master. All right, we're getting a nice little pile of bonita here. Another one of those guys is mine. We're having to, off to a good start. You got one, right, buddy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your name, man? Uh, I'm here. And where are you from? Uh, from come, visiting from the UK. From the UK, visiting. All right. Having fun? Yeah, it's pretty good so far. All right, buddy. Pretty good. They're getting the deck cleared, cleaned up, getting the blood off of it. Bloody decks is what we like to see, isn't it, guys? Right. Bloody decks, yeah. So we got four rods on the troll back there. Tim here, he's number 17. He's right here in the corner. That's his rod. Let's watch it go off. All right, so here's Tim on the troll. There's his rod. We can't wait for this thing to stand straight up out. We're finding all kinds of bonita today. Oh yeah, if I can get my first one. Over here. Okay, now reel it in, now reel it in. We got one on over here. And yours is in, so you got nothing. Watch this fish just miss on the strike. Here it comes, get ready. Oh! He's angry. He's angry. Here, let me get that from you. Bounce up. Lift that one up and walk backwards. I got hit right there. Yeah, I saw that. On the deck. On the deck. All right, he's safe. He's in. All right, I got a bait that is just hauling butt. And he just stopped. There he goes. Have you ever seen a, never seen a swordfish going right into the boat here? Really? About three, 300 pounder. A little bit to the right. Oh, there he is. There he is. He's up and above. Okay. So we got a swordfish out here. It's squid out. No, no, squid no, out. no one even casts at it. He's, no one even tries. He's just up here sunning himself. In Florida, I fish for these guys in the daytime and they're down at 2,000 feet deep. We use a 10 pound weight to drop a squid all the way down to the bottom. There he is right here. That's a good one. Oh, damn. It's a nice big fish. Oh, damn. Look at that. See, there's a. That's either his tail or his dorsal. Here he comes. He's not a sunfish. Definitely not a sunfish. Look at him there. There he is. He's shifting back and forth. There's his tail. No, it's a swordfish. Yep, you can just see him under the water. He's over here. Just keep getting little glimpses of him. There he is. Look at him. What a beautiful fish. Usually in the daytime, they're just laying there sunning. There he goes. He's a little scared of the boat. Look at that. All right, what's your name, man? Joe. Joe, all right. We're just talking about electric vehicles. He's work, <laughs> working for Rockwell. And uh, I didn't know they made electric vehicles, but that's what he's doing. But check out his burger. That is a good one. Wagyu beef there. 